Hello, we're Biscuiteers, the original hand iced biscuit company. Each year we ice over 3 million biscuits, and today we wanted to show you how to make your own DIY biscuit wedding favours. While some people forget to take their favours home or don't see them, these can be enjoyed on the spot and you'll be praised very highly for it. We've created three designs for you to choose from, and you don't have to follow these designs, they're just examples to give you a little bit of inspiration. Let's start with our first biscuit. We take our white line icing and trace around the shape of the biscuit. If you want to learn more about the difference in icing consistencies, click the link at the top of the video. Once this is done, we leave the biscuit so that the icing can firm up for around five minutes. Once dry, it means that we can flood the biscuit. Flood icing is runnier consistency than line icing, and it acts as our background for the base of the details. We need to let the flood icing dry for a bit so that it's ready for us to add line details on top without the icing running. To do this, we pop the biscuit in the oven on a low setting for around half an hour. We recommend 50 degrees Celsius. Don't worry, it doesn't cook the biscuit, it simply dries out the icing so that we can ice on top of it. Okay, on to our design. For this design, we're icing initials with a leaf motif. We take our gold line icing and begin. We recommend testing out the initials first on a piece of baking parchment so that you can practice. Just take your time line icing and trace your chosen letter going really slowly. You can take as much time as you need. Our top tip is to always lift the piping bag up so that the line icing doesn't drag and create a wobbly line on the biscuit. Once those initials have been done, we can start on the leaf motifs. Take your green line icing and create a curved line around one side of the biscuit and add a small pointed triangle for the leaves. To fill these in, you can zigzag the piping bag across the shape that you've made. Do the same on the other side and once that's been done you can add some more depth with different green colours. If you're feeling really brave, you could try adding some of your wedding flowers in there. And there we go, your first wedding favour is done. On to our next design. Like before, we take our line icing and trace around the outside of the biscuit, remembering to leave it for five minutes so that the walls can harden up before we add our pale pink flood icing. Once this has dried as well, we can start on the exciting details. For this biscuit, we thought we could do names. So these could be your names or maybe your guests' names and you could use them perhaps as play settings. It's completely up to you. As we said before, we always suggest to test out names on a piece of baking parchment beforehand so that you can see how they'll look and how certain letters might join up together. To add the heart, we wanted to include some lace detailing. We did this by adding a line across the biscuit and then filling it in with the same zigzag technique that we used for the leaves before. We then took some sprinkles and sprinkled these onto the piped section so that they look like little pearls on lace. You can add as many or as little as you like. And there we go, our second design is finished. On to our last design. We did a green theme with this, but you could use any colour. And if you have a specific colour tied to your wedding, it would work perfectly to use that. As always, we trace the shape of the biscuit before filling it in with our flood icing. Once both of those have dried, we can start adding the fun details. We 
we take our gold line icing and write out Mr and Mrs. And guess what? I am going to say it for a third time in this video, but we really recommend practicing on a piece of baking parchment beforehand. Once you've written Mr and Mr, Mrs and Mrs, or Mr and Mrs, you can begin to add some flower motifs. We opted for pink roses, but you can choose whatever you like. We did this by taking some pink line icing and making a wobbly circle. Think of it like the rose petals. We then use the same technique to fill in the shape. Remember, every flower looks different, so this really doesn't have to be perfect. Then, to add some smaller ones in below, we do the same wobbly circle, but much smaller, so that we don't have to fill them in. Like so. In a darker pink, we just add some squiggles so that they have a bit of dimension to them. We then pipe some white dots as extra flowers as well as some green flowers. Our last job is to add a yellow dot into the white dots so that these can turn into daisies. Add any more details that you think will look nice and there we have it. All of our ideas for your wedding favours or place settings are ready. Remember, these are only examples and we just hope we've given you the tools and information to create something beautiful. If you do decide to create any of these, we'd absolutely love to see. Tag us at BiscuitiersLTD or use the hashtag Biscuitiers. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks and we will see you next time.